Hi Brainbox. Welcome to Brainbox YouTube channel. In this video, we will look at divisibility rules. Shortcuts that help us check if a division operation will leave no remainder without actually having to perform division. This is especially useful when we are trying to find the factors of a number. Before you continue, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to keep you posted about other review topics. You can also avail of our CSE books and other reviewers. Just click the link to our shop in the caption below. Let's start by defining divisibility. If we have a number x, we can say it is divisible by a number y if x divided by y yields a remainder of 0. For example, 24 divided by 3 gives us a quotient of 8 and a remainder of 0. Therefore, we can say that 24 is divisible by 3. Now that we know what divisibility means, let's talk about the divisibility rules for 2 all the way up to 10. To make learning divisibility rules easier, it would be better if we applied them to the number 5040 so that we have a practical example. By looking at 5040's rightmost digit, we can immediately tell that it is divisible by 2 because 0 is an even number. To check for divisibility by 3, we need to take the sum of the digits. 5 plus 0 plus 4 plus 0 gives us 9. Since 9 is a multiple of 3, that means the original number 5040 is also divisible by 3. The divisibility rule of 4 can be used just by focusing on the last two digits of a number. For 5040, the two rightmost digits gives us 40. Since 40 is divisible by 4, we can then say 5040 is divisible by 4. This method works because 100 is a multiple of 4, so everything beyond the hundreds digit can be divided cleanly. Divisibility by 5 is one of the easier ones to check for. We simply look at the last digit of the number and we can instantly tell if it is divisible by 5. Our example 5040 ends in a 0, thus making it divisible by 5. The divisibility rule for 6 is actually interesting because it consists of two other divisibility rules, 2 and 3. We can only conclude that a number is divisible by 6 if it satisfies the rules for 2 and 3. Since we have already validated that 5040 is indeed divisible by 2 and 3 earlier in the video, we can say that 5040 is also divisible by 6. The rule for 7 is actually a bit tricky, and for larger numbers with 4 or more digits, it might be simpler to just perform the division. However, there is a method for testing divisibility by 7 that is most effective for 2 to 3 digit numbers. Take the rightmost digit, multiply it by 2, and then subtract the result from the rest of the number. Applying this rule to 5040, we take twice the last digit 0 and subtract it from the rest of the number 504, giving us the number 504. Since we are still unable to determine if 504 is divisible by 7, we can perform the rule again. Twice the last digit 4 is 8, then subtracting it from 50 gives us 42. 42 is divisible by 7, which means the original number 5040 is also divisible by 7. Checking the divisibility rule for 8 is actually quite similar to the rule for 4. The difference is that we take the last three digits and divide those by 8 to see the remainder. Using 5040 to test this rule, we look at the last three digits, 0, 4, 0. Since 40 is divisible by 8, 
we can conclude that 5040 is also divisible by 8. This method works because 1000 is a multiple of 8, so everything beyond the thousands digit can be divided cleanly. Much like the divisibility rule for 3 earlier, the first step in checking for divisibility against 9 is to find the sum of its digits. If the resulting sum is divisible by 9, then the number itself is divisible by 9. Again, going back to our sample number 5040, the sum of its digits is 9, which is divisible by 9. Therefore, 5040 is also divisible by 9. The rule for 10 is similar to the rule for 5, only in this case, we will no longer accept numbers ending in 5. We only accept numbers that end in 0. 5040 ends in 0, which means it is a multiple of 10. It's really that simple. The best way to remember the divisibility rules is to try them out, so let's solve some practice items. Which numbers between 2 and 10 are factors of 1254? To answer this question, let's start from 2 and then work our way up to 10. Testing for divisibility by 2, we look at the rightmost digit, 4. Since 4 is even, 1254 is divisible by 2. The sum of the digits of 1254 is 12, and since 12 is divisible by 3, we can conclude that 1254 is also divisible by 3. Checking for divisibility by 4, we look at the number formed by the last two digits, 54. 54 is not divisible by 4 as it leaves a remainder of 2, therefore 1254 is not divisible by 4. Next. 1254 is not divisible by 5 because it ends on a 4 instead of a 5 or 0. However, 1254 is divisible by 6 since we have already identified 2 and 3 as factors. Checking for divisibility by 7 next, we take double the last digit and then subtract that from the remaining numbers. In this instance, we double the last digit 4, which results to 8, and then subtract it from 125. This gives us 117. Since the divisibility of 117 by 7 is not yet apparent, we need to repeat the process. Again, we subtract double the last digit 7, which results to 14, from the rest of the number, which is 11. We are now left with minus 3, which is not divisible by 7. Therefore, the original number 1254 is not divisible by 7. Checking divisibility by 8 requires us to look at the last three digits, which is 254. We then divide that by 8, which yields a remainder of 6. Therefore, 1254 is not divisible by 8. Moving on to divisibility by 9, 
we use the sum of the digits 12 for our analysis. Since 12 is not divisible by 9, 1254 is not divisible by 9 either. Finally, 1254 is not divisible by 10 because it does not end on a zero. To summarize, the factors of 1254 between 2 and 10 are 2, 3, and 6. Moving on to the problem number 2. A review center has 343 enrollees for June, with enough budget for a maximum of 10 teachers where each teacher handles one class. What is the largest number of classes that can be offered where each class has a uniform number of students? For this problem, the best approach would be to solve downward. Starting from 10, we go down until we find a factor. We eliminate 10 because 343 ends with 3. The sum of digits is 10, which means we can eliminate 9. 343's divisibility by 8 has to be checked manually by division, which gives us a remainder of 7. Next, let's check the divisibility rule for 7. Double the last digit would be 6, then subtracting from 34 will give us 28. Since 28 is divisible by 7, we have our answer. The largest number of classes that can be offered at the review center is 7. Now it's time for the last exercise of the video. True or false? If a number is divisible by 12, it is also divisible by 3. The statement is true. If we have identified a number to be divisible by a certain divisor, then that number will also be divisible by that divisor's factors. For example, if a number has 6 as a factor, then that number will be divisible by 2 and 3 as well. We need to remember however, the converse of this statement is not true. Just because a number is divisible by say, 3, it does not automatically mean that the number is divisible by 6 or 9. That's all for today, share this video for others to learn too. If you want to learn more, you can avail of our CSE books and other reviewers. 
Just click the link to our shop in the caption below. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.